23 of 56, so the last two weeks of the challenge, and I jumped on the scale this morning, and I was two pounds down again, so that's super exciting, and I haven't been 178 since I found out I was pregnant in July or August of 2019, so it's been quite a while since I've been that weight, and yeah, this is super exciting, so I'm gonna go in the gym, and get all I got. So, happy Monday. Good morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. It is day 45 of 56, and I am going in for a leg day. So, up a little bit this morning, I was 180.2, so I've been following what I need to do and eating the way I need to. So anyways, I'm gonna jump off and go in because people are pulling up in there watching me video in myself. It's kinda weird, so okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> well hi damn Whew. I'm getting so strong. It's exciting. Okay, check out my muscles. Okay, on to tomorrow. See ya. Just completed day 46. Uh, really tough. Um, should have put my hair back in her hand. Clearly, uh, my arms are tired because I missed like a entire chunk. Anyways, um, I did military press with 25s today, which is awesome because 20s felt like a breeze. And 20 has been where I've been stuck for a little while. So went up in that, went up in quite a few exercises and I feel a little silly, but uh, I just figured out that the first form app allows you to track your weights. Every workout, I didn't realize that that was a feature. So that is really cool. I've been using that and I'm excited to see how that will help me progress into um, heavier lifts. Anyways, I am just feeling super motivated and motivated might not be the best term. Maybe driven is the best term, but I just see how much I have changed. I don't know, uh, physically and mentally over the past eight weeks. And I initially started this out physically <laughs> with a physical goal in mind and I have just progressed so far past that um yeah it's really cool I had a, a um one of my favorite coaches in high school I swam Jeremy Lynn he is an Olympic gold and silver medalist and he would always tell us if your dreams aren't big enough or if if somebody doesn't laugh at you when you tell them your dream or your goal, then it's not big enough. So I have some goals. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to push it as far as I can. So anyways, it's Thursday. Have a great day. And just really excited about this challenge. There's 10 days left and I'm really, really pumped about seeing where I'm at at the end of the eight weeks. So I will see you later. Hello, day 47 is complete and my arms feel like jello. I tracking my weight has really been helping so I know where I'm at and if I'm making any progress. So that's super awesome. I did go up just a tad today. So I'll probably stay there for a little bit, maybe not, who knows. And yeah, so I took my progress pictures this morning and only saw a little bit of a difference, not too much, but there is a two pound difference from the pictures from last week, or maybe a little bit over two pounds. I think it might actually be three. So I know that the weight dropped, but I don't really feel like the pictures 
reflect that. But according to the app, I am 14 pounds down. So it rounded up because I started at 191.8. So it rounded to 192. And now I am 178.4. So that is super exciting. So anyways, catch you later. Good afternoon. It is day 48 of 56 and it is a beautiful sunny Saturday. And today it's leg day. It is the second to last leg day of the challenge and I'm super excited for it. I'm gonna go up on my squat and see if I can really push some heavy weights this morning, afternoon. <laughs> I as I head into the last week of this challenge, I'm going to really try and reflect back on some of the feelings and just things, how far I've come really, that's probably what I'm trying to say. Um, a lot of the things that have changed my mindset and just my attitude now compared to what it was in the very beginning. Because just sitting here on the last day of the second to last week and I don't know I just feel so different where at the beginning of this challenge I felt so defeated and sad all the time I feel hopeful for the future and that to me means so much more than the weight I've lost. According to the app, I've lost 14 pounds since the beginning. I'm fitting in clothes that I haven't fit in since a long time. Um, since before I was pregnant. And that was 2019. But some of the clothes that I've been fitting in, I haven't fit in since like 2018. So, it's pretty darn cool, and I'm super proud of myself. I just have come so far, and I, there's a lot of things that have been different about this first form challenge than anything else that I've done. I have done um, pretty much anything. You name it. And I stuck with Beachbody for a while and I'm not bashing Beachbody at all. This is, it just didn't work for me. And first form has worked for me significantly. And there is one, one video in particular that has just really fueled my fire, I guess is probably the best way to put it. But it is the one, I think first form announces their... 2018 winner, or maybe it's 2016 for one of their challenges, but it starts out with Andy Frisella and his transformation, and he is just so inspirational that I just, I don't know, just listening to him, I just feel like I can do it, and he's been in anybody's shoes who feels like they're unhappy or upset or just stuck and he freaking did it like there's nothing more inspiring than watching somebody who has been in your shoes and overcome it and that they are living proof like they walk the walk and they talk the talk that is just so damn inspirational to me that you're not just running your mouth like you are actually you're doing it and you're showing everybody that you're doing it. So that video, I can't tell you how many times I have watched it. <laughs> it's just, like I said, it's so inspiring to me, and especially just watching everybody else's stories and drawing inspiration from that. So I'm about to hit, um, and about a month and a half, I will hit my survivor anniversary anniversary I guess that's how you say it um, April 2nd is really when I that's when I had my surgery so it's when I was 
gifted my second opportunity to live. And if you would have asked me, I don't know, seven, eight weeks ago, how I felt about life, I probably would have told you that I just feel very lost and unable to focus. Um, and just that I feel like everything was robbed from me and I would have had such a victim mentality. Whereas now, um, I have my moments, don't get me wrong, but I feel more importantly that my mindset has shifted to a growth mindset and that if anything, it's not so much that things have been taken away from me, but that I've been given so much more. I've been given a new perspective. I have been given a second opportunity to see life through a different pair of eyes. I cherish moments now so much more than I would have before. I took so much for granted before, and now it, everything is a blessing. So the sun is shining. <laughs> that is, that's a blessing. The weather hasn't been super great and that has had an impact on a lot of how I feel. So I just feel super grateful and strong and I'm losing weight and it just feels so good. It feels so good. So anyways, this has been long enough, but I just really feel like or not feel like, but I'm going to be doing a lot of reflecting in this, in the next eight week video. So I hope you have a great weekend. And if nobody's told you recently, I want you to know that you can do anything that you set your mind to. Anything. So, all right. Have a good weekend. See ya. Holy cow. <laughs> I just did a hundred and one I think eight times thirteen squats weighted squats not just like regular squats back squat squats yeah just because <laughs> just because I wanted to challenge myself clearly the only reason wow <laughs> okay that's it goodbye Have a good weekend I'll see you later see you Monday bye <laughs>